There's a great story of Ibn Sina, who he met a man who every who was he was crying and he was sometimes laughing and he was sometimes what we might call maybe like manic, you know, just up and down and up and down and just you know sometimes disheveled and sometimes and people didn't know what was wrong with him, and so they brought him to Ibn Sina, and so he was trying to figure out what was wrong with this man, and so he took his pulse. <laughs> to try to figure out what is it that's causing him so much distress and so much anxiety. And there's an illness that he talks about in his books and many of the books of that time, they talked about something called love sickness. <laughs> and he figured out and he started to narrow down every time he'd say a city, a certain city, right? He kept narrowing it down, narrowing it down, narrowing it down until he figured out what city was causing him the most anxiety. And from the people in the city, he kept saying all the names of the family, the big families of that city, all until he figured out which family was causing <laughs> the most distress. And then when he finally got there, all the way to the end, he realized that his heart, this man's heartbeat, <laughs> this technique, this man was obsessed by a specific woman. And so he realized it was lovesickness. And he said, the way in order to treat this man isn't, an, isn't a medication I give him, it's actually he needs to get married. <laughs> And he beseeched this family on the man's behalf that he marry this woman. And then the man's symptoms went away. <laughs> SubhanAllah. This is in his book, in the Qanun, Qanun Fitlib, or the Canon of Medicine. And he, was, he, said, and he says in his book, by reaching his beloved, I'm amazed how quickly he became re-energized. And it's, so it's clear to me that human health is obedient and under the control of the mind. <laughs> 